Soundpeach reached out to me to review their H2 Hybrid, but if you look on Amazon, Soundpeach makes a bunch of different earbuds. And I know the first thing you would comment is, what's the difference between this one and say another? So I asked Soundpeach to just send me all of them. Nico knows tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico knows tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Now this video review took several days to film, so please excuse any shirt change and lack of continuity. Now before we get started, a word about privacy. Right now, big tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with this military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. Starting from the right of your screen, we of course have the H2 Hybrid. Next thing we have is the T3, the Mini Pro, the True Engine 3 SE, and the True Air 2 Plus. Now the H2 Hybrid is the most premium looking out of the bunch that we have in front of us with this metallic pearl kind of finish and the metal badge and it's priced at $79.99 which is the highest out of what we have in front of us. We have a USB-C charging in the, in the back and then we have three LEDs indicating the charge of the case. We open up inside, we of course have our earbuds. Now, unlike any of the other earbuds that are currently in front of us, the H2 hybrids feature a dual driver system. So there is one balanced armature driver and then there's one dynamic driver inside. So you have that balanced armature to handle highs and high mids with detail and accuracy and then that dynamic driver to provide bass and low ends. And they go in and they're pretty comfortable. They go in, I don't feel any hot spots whatsoever. The H2 hybrid is targeted at audiophiles and music lovers. Utilizing adaptive aptX codec, Bluetooth 5.2, active noise cancelling, and a low latency gaming and movie mode. The earbuds themselves have a 5 hour battery per charge, with 20 hours total if you include the charging case. Now regarding the sound, yes they sound great, however I think they're an acquired taste. Not everyone will like everything about it because this is a dual driver system. Now that has pros and cons. The pros are, wow, it's got a great frequency spectrum, it has an individual driver for this and another driver for that. However, balanced armature drivers and dynamic drivers react differently at different voltages. So at the 60% mark, they both seem to be, you know, working, I think, the way Soundpeats intended. However, when you go to the higher voltages, the balanced armature starts really coming through way more than the dynamic, dynamic driver. So you start getting a lot more treble than you do bass. It doesn't come up equally at the same levels like you would with a single driver. So yeah, they sound cool and they can do some interesting things, but um, if you're a mainstream listener, this might be a bit distracting or you might even think, hey, you know what, I don't like it at certain volumes. So that's something to consider, but they, they are a nice product. Now the True Engine 3 SE priced at $49 is an interesting one. First off with the case, we have a matte black with the Soundpiece logo on top. Inside we have the LED indicator of the charge of the case. And the earbuds themselves I find particularly interesting and kind of similar to some KZ in-ear IEMs because we have kind of a see-through plastic there. And these do go really deep into the ears. On the back we have this metal badge here and then we have the Elegate LED indicator light. The True Engine SE earbuds use the adaptive aptX codec over Bluetooth 5.2. The earbuds have a 6.5 hour battery with an additional 30 hours through the charging case. I think they're a missed opportunity because they do not have noise cancelling, transparency mode, or a low latency gaming mode. Now while I wish they did have the noise cancelling and a gaming mode, they do have some redeeming qualities such as that battery life at 6.5 hours and additional 30 through the case. I do also like the way they fit into the ears. They go in there all the way and they are very comfortable. They feel very secure, they're by no means sport earbuds, but I feel no hot spots and they stay in my ears pretty well. Regarding the sound, they do sound really good, especially for this price point. They are very mainstream, so they're V-shaped, which is to be expected, but they overall do sound good. They have good instrument separation, good detail, low distortion, uh, not a whole lot of soundstage, but then again, these are $49 earbuds. 
Uh, True R2 Plus are a budget minimalist pick in my opinion. However, they do feature some premium features such as the aptX codec and active noise cancellation. The True Air 2 Plus are an ultra lightweight design that just rests outside the ear canal, similar to the first gen AirPods. They have a 5 hour battery per charge and an additional 4 charges through the case. Regarding how they sound, well, a bit unusual and distant, um, but at $39.99 they are an interesting set because they feature noise cancellation. However, they don't seal the ear canal, which I so I don't understand how that actually would work. Um, and the distance created by them sitting right here. Um, did give some kind of soundstage to it, but overall I didn't find them to be a real premium sound. I had to say it. Now the T3 wireless stood out to me as an overall good value for most users, mainly because it has AI clear call feature, which is going to enhance the sound quality of your phone calls. A lot of, a lot of earbud manufacturers would go all about the LEDs and the features such as noise cancellation and battery life, but they completely forget that a lot of users are communicating on the phone with them. And so I find that to be a good feature. Unlike the other options in this video, the T3 uses the AAC and SBC codecs instead of aptX. While this won't affect users unless they are trying to listen to lossless music, it may be something to consider. The T3 features active noise cancellation, transparency mode, and a 5.5 hour battery life. They can be recharged to the case two times. Now regarding the sound, these have big dynamic drivers capable of producing a lot of bass. If you like bass, these might be for you. It doesn't overpower the treble too much because it is V-shaped, so you have the treble boosted over here and the, the low end boosted over here. So very mainstream and overall pretty good quality too. And finally for my pick, best overall, the Mini Pro. The Mini Pro priced at $59.99 before coupon really surprised me not only in its sound, but also in its features. The Mini Pro were actually featured in Forbes magazine as quote, a real bargain, and it's easy to see why. Featuring Bluetooth 5.2, aptX codec, ANC, transparency mode, low latency gaming mode, clear calls, as well as a 5 hour battery life with ANC enabled. With the case you can get a total of 21 hours. And overall, I really like the Mini Pros. They go in so easy, they're nice and comfortable. They go in, they stay secure, they're not too obtrusive. Um, the features such as noise canceling and transparency mode, clear call, overall they're a winner. They even come with this nice small case that just fits in the pocket so nice. The sound, it's V-shaped, very mainstream, but it's pleasant. It doesn't have any harshness. The bass is not boomy. It doesn't make my ears tickle. Um, it's it's tight and punchy on the low end. It does have some sub bass. It doesn't have quite all of the dynamics of the H2 hybrid, but then again, it's a single driver, but it's just overall a good sound. There's good definition. Um, so you have the treble all in the right places, the mids in the nice places, and then you have that punchy bass. Overall, I really enjoyed the Mini Pros. And congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this video helpful. You can find all the links to these products in the description. If you like this video, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon, and I shall see you next time.